climate change affects our glaciers, our lands, our atmosphere, and even our health. Extreme rainfall, rising temperatures, droughts have led to increasing number of vector and waterborne diseases in Bhutan. Dengue and chikungunya, Bhutan actually never had seen one uh, 20 years ago. But with the ever rising you know, average temperature of Bhutan, I think over the last 20 years, I think we, our average rise in temperature or fluctuation is almost 0.5 centigrade. This actually has resulted in emergence of uh, mosquitoes, which are the primary vectors. In 2022, Punaka Valley recorded the highest temperature ever, and mosquitoes have been sighted in places like Laya, almost 4,000 meters above sea level. Patients suffering from vector and waterborne diseases are on the rise. In 2022, dengue was reported in 38 new sub-districts in the country. It can really challenge uh, the health resources in terms of needing the specialist, in terms of needing the ICU, in terms of needing the other you know, higher level uh, sort of facilities and infrastructure to manage them. So therefore it is definitely more pressure to the, to the you know, health uh, infrastructure and the resources. However, there are a few adaptation measures identified by the National Adaptation Plan such as integration of disease-specific safeguards in urban planning, strengthening water sanitation and hygiene interventions in urban zones, increasing intersectorial and international collaboration, strengthening disease monitoring and surveillance. When we say climate change or talk about climate change, the reality is that uh, we, we really have to look on how can we really control the things that can be controlled. We have to look from a very holistic point of view. And uh, if we don't look at from a holistic point of view, I think uh, health system alone cannot really handle the outbreaks. If it happens in a larger scale, then it would be a huge challenge. So therefore, you know, it is definitely a challenge and we have to be, we have to be ready.